Uh, Daniel went upstairs to her room and opened the window. He looked out toward Jerusalem. The city he used to use live, but he couldn't see the city. It was too far away. Sometimes Daniel still missed his old home. Now he worked for a king in a strange far of land called Babylon. Lots of other Israelites lived there too. God had made the Israelites leave their homes in the promised land because of their sin. Daniel knelt to pray. Even when he felt sad, he still gave thanks to God. Down on the streets, some of the king's men were whispering, Look! At Daniel, he's praying again. I wish he would do something bad. Then we could get him into trouble. Yes, Daniel is the king's favorite officer. If we don't do something quick, the king will put him in charge of everyone. Charter in the land, including Mars. I got an idea. Let's put Daniel in trouble with Ranger Go through the King Daniel to the new law. Every place to anyone except to the king. We'll be full into the lion stairs. The den of lions. All the king officers and all the king officers start with brother and grand of bleed. What a perfect plan, they said. They go and trick the king and breaking the law. Up in her room, Daniel kept praying. No one, not to. But three times each day, he would go to her room and sit down on her knees and pray. At the palace one day, Daniel knew the, the king's new law. Daniel knew Daniel needed to still be faithful to God, no matter what. He, he went right home, sat on her knees and pray three times a day. He kept thinking to God and asking him for help. And down on the street, the officers are watching. Now we cuff him, he said with a smirk. They were tattled to the king. When King Darius heard their words, he was very upset. He tried to order day to save Daniel. But it was too late. He cannot change his law. The king's men seized Daniel and brought him to the dead. Daniel can hear the hungry crowds and lions below. The king called to them, Well, God, I just need to save you. And tried that. Daniel didn't move a muscle. He closed his eyes. Tightly, but the word growls. And then was quiet. Daniel stood up and looked around. There was God's angel setting the mouth of lions. Not one lion in his dress. Mama, I'm going to